Hello and welcome everyone. If you are uh, new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. Now, if you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel uh, because on this channel, I share ideas, insights, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow really fast in the software industry, then subscribe now and uh, press the bell icon. So let us begin. Uh, sir, I'm learning full stack development and I'm learning in both ways like Python and JavaScript because if I couldn't get job, I can change my path. Sir, is it good to have command of two, three languages in technology? Yes, it is very good to have command of two, three languages in technology. Also, Python and JavaScript is a good combination. Okay, because what happens is you can use JavaScript for web development and you can use a lot of Python libraries. If your web application has any artificial intelligence, machine learning and all these uh, technologies which are involved, then for that you can use Python. So uh, JavaScript and Python is a very good combination. But as I mentioned earlier, okay, whatever you know you should know it in depth okay so i would suggest that first you focus on one technology really well okay focus on one technology really well and if you have already completed your college then the first thing to do is to get a job but let us say you are still studying okay so if you are still studying then give yourself something like 90 to 180 days only on one technology okay like python and learn everything within python whatever you can get your hands on spend every day two hours three hours learning python okay then switch to javascript now learning javascript will become easier because whatever you are doing in python uh, you can find out how you can do it in javascript okay there will be some differences and there will be some similarities Okay, but the philosophy is same. The software development process will not change. The way you construct the software will not change. Only the tools and technology will change. Okay, I always give an example of a carpenter. Okay, a carpenter needs to know carpentry. A software engineer, a software developer needs to know software development. What is the life cycle of a software development? how a software application is built that is very important now what tools you use whether you use python this is a tool whether you use javascript this is a tool whether you use php this is a tool these are different tools and technologies which you use okay so what tools and technologies you use is okay but more important is the software development process and understanding how an entire software is built then whatever technology you know you will be good in that technology because you know the entire software development process okay but master one tool such that you are always a master because when you master one tool you will be able to get really good uh, salaries just for that particular technology okay so when the company see companies have already decided what they are going to do so the company which has decided that they are going to go with JavaScript, they are just going to go with JavaScript, they are not going to go with Python. The companies which have decided they are going to go with Python, they are never going to, it's never going to happen that unless you are in a service based company. Okay. And in service based company also, if your first project is Python, then after that you will start getting more and more Python projects. Okay. So it is always better to be master in one. Okay, but it is no harm in learning these two technologies, they go hand in hand. Okay. By the way, uh, I, I learned Visual Basic as a as a as the main technology, uh, main programming language. But uh, during the end of my career, I was also learning JavaScript, I was learning jQuery, I was learning Python, all these just for my own interest to see how these things are. Okay. But I never uh, came about learning uh, Java. Okay, so you can learn both these technologies, they go hand in hand. So I hope 
that this video is useful to you make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel okay and uh, uh, share these videos as much as possible thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next video